Well, the hot temperatures are bringing people to the beach, of course, but cities, towns, and state parks up and down the coast are experiencing lifeguard shortages. It's been a problem for several years now, and now even veteran lifeguards say they're concerned about public safety. WMTW News H Jim Keithley is live now in Old Orchard Beach, one place that's been hit pretty hard. Jim. Well, Tracy, a day at the beach, not so much of a breeze for lifeguards hard at work. Typically, there are 21 lifeguards on staff here in Old Orchard Beach. There are 12 of those lifeguard stands, and the ones that are closest to the pier where it gets packed, as you can see, people still here. There should be two lifeguards on. Today, just one. Ryan Chacoin is a veteran lifeguard, eight years on staff here at Old Orchard Beach, one of the busiest in the state. Today, from his perch, he's responsible for the safety of all these people. He says staffing is down, there's seven lifeguards short. Good help is hard to find these days. Much of the problem, he says, has to do with the pay. Chacoin says he's losing lifeguards who are jumping ship for places like Tennybunk and Agunquit that pay more. It's hard to compete with towns that are paying $15 an hour when you're paying eight years in $11. It is concerning. There's a lot of people here today. So it's kind of scary to think there's not enough help. Shanna Breton says she'll be keeping a closer eye on her niece and nephew. Come this weekend, there will be so many people on this beach, you'll barely be able to see the sand. And that's worrisome, even for a veteran lifeguard. This weekend, if we have that storm come up the East Coast, I mean, we could have riptides and. We'll be in a lot, and we'll be, we'll be having everybody on staff, and we're still going to be short, so it's going to be scary. Down the road at Ferry Beach Park in Saco, the same problem. In fact, today, there's one guard, usually two. State parks from Popham Beach to Crescent Beach are struggling to fill lifeguard slots. But here, they're calling in backup in an effort to have coverage that won't put public safety in jeopardy. What we're doing is, is we're bringing rangers and assistant rangers down on the beach, helping them, lifeguards that are available, uh, just as spotters, making sure that everything's safe. Another Parks and Rec director told me that they're hiring younger lifeguards these days. Typically, these jobs went to college students, but now they say they're hiring high school kids, but they still have to be certified. We're live in Old Orchard Beach, Jim Keithley, WMTW News 8.